One of the first things we deal with when preparing stains is taking care of our slides. So we want to make sure we actually clean them. So I'm going to take a couple of them just to kind of throw them out. When they're prepackaged, they come a little bit dirty, they come a little bit dusty, but they are also fairly rough. So what we want to do is use a specific uh, granular soap called Bonami, which happens to fall under the category of PPE type C. So in case you're wondering, uh, you'll have to look that up so you can actually see what type of protection you need. But that really means goggles, lab coat, gloves, that kind of thing, right? Now what we do is apply a very small amount of this by just kind of tapping it. And then with enough of this material, we can actually redistribute it amongst our slides. And then for my sake of doing this, I'm actually gonna use our little pipe, pipette, add a few drops of water, and then I'm gonna wash them right here. You can do this over the sink, of course, but the idea is this, this cleanser, because it's granular and actually polishes the actual slide. So, quick polishing over the slide will give us some nice, really clean slides. Now, normally you can do this over the sink and you can actually rinse it out with water. I actually have water ready and a beaker so I can rinse them out as fast as I can so I can continue recording the video. So ideally, you would just rinse it out with water and you'd have nice and clean slides ready. Now what we're gonna do after we rinse these guys out is we'll use a couple of Kim wipes so we can actually dry these guys off. So I'll take some Kim wipes, nothing out of the ordinary, and just kind of pass it through. And we'll actually see that our slides are much cleaner shinier and that's what we want to use so i'm going to put these off to the side in a moment so we can use them so I'll dry off all of these guys and then we'll continue with our setup for right now generate some clean slides you might want to get yourself in the habit of actually doing this anytime you're going to be using slides anyway so once you get in you set up your ppe and you have a little bit of spare time once you've disinfected your bench get some slides as long as you're authorized and start applying the Bonamese cleanser and start cleaning these guys out. That'll save you some time. So the next step what we'll do once we have our clean slides is actually set up our working bench. Okay, so here we have some slides that we've already cleansed with Bonami. So they're nice and polished and they should be able to receive our smears that we need to prepare for our staining once we have them ready. So the first thing we wanna do is learn how to set up our bench. And it's easier to do it with one small square of a paper towel and it helps us kind of label and keep track of everything we're doing, especially when we have lots and lots of stains to do and lots of organisms. So for example, what I like to do is kind of create my own little squares so I can place them. These don't need to be perfect in any way. And what I like to do is know what type of stain I'm gonna be doing. So for example, if we were to do a gram stain, I just kind of abbreviate it, and then I'd know what the organism would be too. So for example, let's just say it's gonna be E. coli. So a quick abbreviation here. I know this is just not a standard, but it makes it easier. So I would note that this is my gram stain and that I'm gonna be working with E. coli. And so each and every one of these guys gets their own little spot. So that when I'm running through these, doing multiple of them at the same time, kind of helps me keep track of every single one of them. So you can easily label these by putting them letters or numbers or whatever works for you. That way you can keep track of them. Now the next piece that we're gonna be doing is making sure we can prepare our smear by adding water. And so for that, we go back to our little plastic pasture pipette and applying water to them. Now ideally, you'd set up one smear per slide by either adding one drop of water or what you can do in certain typical situations. You can use your um, loop over here and you can take a tiny little dip of water and that can be used as well. My concern behind this is that you're gonna be using your loop for other things. It might be contaminated, it might be not. Assuming it, you're doing proper aseptic technique, it shouldn't be. But you know, you never know. So I prefer to already have something that is clean, with clean water, and I can use this guy. Now, the more water you use, the longer it's gonna take for your smear to dry. So you try and use the smallest amount of water you can. So for that, we're gonna try a little bit of training by actually using our pipe better 
and trying to make the smallest drop possible. So I'll show you here what happens when you actually use an entire drop. One entire drop of water takes up a good amount of surface and as you can even tell, it's gonna take forever to dry. So you wanna try and do is minimize the amount of water that you're actually adding by creating the smallest little drop ever. Now even then, that'll take a little bit of practice so you can do this while you're getting ready. And ideally, what you wanna create is truly, with a little bit of patience and skill, the tiniest thing ever. Now that takes a little bit of work and a little bit of practice. So that's what really you wanna to apply to the actual slide itself. Now normally you'd apply actually one per slide and create one smear. But one of the things we like to teach our students to be a little bit more efficient and be less wasteful. So here's gonna be our version in which we call this, why not create two for twice the price? In which instead of setting up one actual smear per slide, you can actually, as long as you're careful, set up two of them in there. So I'm actually gonna take my slide, move it over here and kind of show you what we're gonna try and produce. I'll take my pipette again. And ideally, I will create two tiny little smears. So one little drop, so we can do a little bit less than one over there. And so each one of them can carry a sample. Now, ideally, if you collected a sample over here earlier, then what you do is take your sample and transfer it and smear it. Your job is to kind of go in big circles over here to kind of spread out the sample. And then without picking up any more, you just go to the next one and smear this guy too. That way, whatever is here, if it's too concentrated, you kind of dilute it out and you'll probably get a cleaner picture later on. So you're producing two smears on one slide. And we can do this for every single one of them if you practice. So that's what we're gonna set up. So right now, we just kind of look at what we're doing kind of what we want to set up, where to label everything, where to put everything after we've cleaned our slides. So we'll come back to this setup in a moment. So the next thing we're going to focus on from a bigger perspective is how to transfer our organism onto our slides. In other words, creating a smear. So that's going to be our next step.